What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome to the finale of this London Marathon Training Series, week 13. Okay, so rolling straight into Monday, easy 60 minutes today, taking it down another 10 minutes and uh, yeah, just buzzing after watching yesterday's Berlin Marathon. New world record, doesn't that just give you every ounce of inspiration that you need to go and run a marathon so uh yeah absolutely pumped this week it's gonna be a long week it's gonna drag <laughs> and uh i'm gonna be waiting very impatiently for london to come around but every run has a purpose and uh that's exactly what it's all about today so goal today is as i said 60 minutes but keeping things nice and relaxed I am nearly done actually because I got out here when it was very dark and the goal is 120's heart rate so basically don't get carried away and uh, a nice relaxing pace so I'm running just over 8 minute miling it's going to be in and around there when I finish and uh, I'm very happy with that and I'm feeling good this morning still feeling fresh still feeling ready to rock and roll so I have one workout this week which is tomorrow I'm excited oh, to take you with me on that one so I shall finish this one off we've got about 10 minutes to go and uh, see you in the morning so morning it is now Tuesday good run yesterday and on to the final workout of the block five by three minutes and I'm joined by this man we're out early he's doing a bit of shoe testing this morning he's on the alpha flies just making sure whether he wants to go the alpha flies or the next percent version ones i've got the nova blast on today and we're just going to get out there and get it done because it's stupidly early and i'm going to be honest with you i feel like a bag of poo my throat's horrific my nose is bad so i just want to get home and have a cup of tea so five by three minutes 60 seconds recovery just a light jog nothing crazy and today the goal is no particular paces um, it's going to be faster than marathon pace, but I'm not aiming for 10k half marathon. Just want to turn the legs over nicely, feel good, feel fresh, feel fast, and uh, get this one done so I can start to ease up for the rest of the week. And just like that, the workout is over. I was reduced to haunching on my all fours on the pavement, just squatting down, lower back's gone, uh, completely locked up. I let out a squeal as I was coming around the corner for the second rep and uh, my lower back just has locked, completely locked. So I'm having to walk home. Um, Head in, head in hands, sort of shame, gutted. Uh, mixed emotions at the moment, I don't quite know how I'm feeling. Thankfully, thankfully I have a sports massage later today. Um, I'm off to see Tony, who I usually see pre-race. Uh, that's booked at nine o'clock, which is why I'm out early to get this done, because I don't want to run after seeing her. Um, and I'll see what she says. But I know me, I know my back. These things can take time to heal. And sadly, London is, was it, five days away now. So, unless she can work a miracle, there might be a change in game plan. Okay, so welcome to Thursday and I am running. This is the second attempt at a run today. The first one this morning ended in disaster and I cannot tell you the emotions that I've been to over the last 48 hours, it's been mad. Um, so since that injury on Tuesday, my whole back locked up. I saw my physio that morning at nine o'clock. I had an appointment anyway to loosen me up. And that appointment changed from loosen me up, please, to fix my back, please. And basically anything and everything that could lock up in my back region did. Um, my QL, sacroiliac joint, glute min, with some words that she threw out there that were really tight. Piriformis, bloody hell, when she went in there, that was, I nearly hit the roof. So anyway, I came away from that appointment 
she said you'll expect to be in more pain the next day because I've had to go in quite deep but you should have more mobility and I did on Wednesday I did and I woke up th but she said I reckon you'll be pain free Thursday or Friday well I woke up this morning I had more mobility again but I wasn't pain free and uh, I went out this morning tried to do a half an hour easy and I took three steps the pain was too much and uh, I was ready to write London off. I thought I can't, I just can't, I can't risk it. So I got in and by chance she messaged me and said, how did it go this morning? And uh, I said, not good, not good at all. I had to abandon too much pain. She said, my 9 a.m.'s cancelled. Come up, I'll, I'll fit you in for another hour. So we had another deeper dive whilst I was up there doing a bit of confidence work and you know telling my back it's all right it's not going to go and she started digging deep again and well I hit the roof once again my hamstrings were not firing and my back was doing the load so on the first session she unknotted me and loosened me up but this session we found that every time I was trying to do something thereafter my back was kicking in and my hamstrings were were just flatlining <laughs> they weren't doing anything so all i've done today is hamstring work get the hamstrings firing that's what we did down there at the physio for the last 15 minutes she was showing me what to do so i spent all morning and afternoon doing hamstring activations and stuff and i'm running I'm running and it's it feels good to run um, so I have to say that I'm just doing 30 minutes but I'm wearing the zoom fly fives just rolling through the stride nicely she's telling me a lot about midfoot pressure to engage the hamstrings which is what I'm trying to think about now just land on the midfoot roll through nicely and it's working it's amazing it's amazing what happens when you engage the right muscles or the pain you can be in when they're not engaged so i'm not pain free um it's about one out of ten two out of ten it's an ache in the back it's not a it's not a pain it's an ache but it's there but i'm running so what i've kind of decided because i'm 20 minutes into this half an hour i've got another half an hour tomorrow what I've decided is I'm gonna rock up to London. I'm gonna go over there. I've got another two days for it to ease off again a little bit more. Keep doing the hamstring work. And you never know, tomorrow's 30 minutes might be better than this. And if it is, then I'll have great confidence. But what one thing I do know is that I will not be able to approach London the way I wanted to. I think I'd be foolish to consider going out at the pace that I wanted to unless tomorrow is a 0 out of 10 and I'm able to throw some strides in and feel fresh and sharp I've just got to I've just got to roll with it so I'm looking at options I'm looking at what I can do after London what I want to do it'll all depend on how London goes but I'm thinking about backups I'm thinking about other things but for now oh I'm grateful that I'm running and I'm gonna turn up I'll turn up and I'll do what I can so I'm gonna finish this run off bank it keep doing my activations keep doing my hamstring work tonight get up tomorrow morning do the school run and I'll see you after that for the final 30 minute run so welcome to Friday the last update of this training series out here for 30 minutes and just before I give you my final thoughts on everything, I just want to say a massive thank you once again to Saw Running for sponsoring this week's video. They've been here for the final leg of this training series and I really, really appreciate it. Their kit is absolutely second to none. You've seen me training it for nearly a year now. You've seen me racing it for nearly a year now. You've seen me wear it so many times. It is just simply the best and they've been very kind to give me a discount code which again is on screen and again will be in the link below 
Uh, so grab yourself some saw kit, 15% off. It'll be a great bargain because, uh, you know, their kit is premium quality and premium prices. So if you get a chance, do try it, especially the marathon shorts. If you saw my last video, you'll see that they're the best, best thing I think you can invest in. So with that being said, a massive thank you once again to Saw Running for sponsoring this week's video. So in terms of how today is going and final thoughts, it's going really well actually. Um, zero pain in the area, kind of a one out of 10 on the ache. Uh, it's just tight um, and I can deal with tightness to be honest with you. I run with tightness quite a lot. I run a, running a bit stiff in the back, but to be honest with you, as long as the pain's not there and the ache is way better than it was yesterday, we're making progress. I keep telling myself, well, that's great. Get today done. Tomorrow's another day for it to recover. And then Sunday, hopefully it'll be a little bit better again and we'll just have sort of minimal tightness by that point and we shall see what comes of it. So just being grateful today that I'm out here once again, hopefully clocking up another 30 minute run, just over 20 minutes now. So if we can get this complete, I'll be really, really happy. So goals, focuses, as I said yesterday, it's probably not gonna be the race I wanted it to be, but today gives me a little bit more hope that uh, things are slowly returning back to normal. Still feel like if I went off as I planned to, it might be a bit stupid, but you know, I'm noticing every day things are getting slightly better. So another two days and we'll see how things are. All I've got to do in my head is keep reaffirming, reaffirming to myself, my back is okay, which it is, I'm running now. It's okay, it's doing well, it's good. Uh, keep doing my, movement patterns and activating the hamstrings and the glutes and all of that and that's all I can do get to the start line and do my best so for one last time a massive thank you to each and every one of you for tuning into this series it has been a blast I've loved making it it's been a big experiment this training block in my opinion it's been a big success injury free until this week <laughs> but that's good I've pushed the volume I've dialed back the intensity and I've strung together some really solid weeks of training, which I feel are gonna lead me into autumn and winter in really good shape. But obviously, time will tell. Don't forget to subscribe and stick around to the channel for future videos and see if we can smash some autumn and winter PBs. But for now, this is it. I will see you on the other side of London. Uh, nothing more for me to say. If you enjoyed the video, guys, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and I'll see you at London.